Hey down, this is Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into something about Jungkook. And I didn't want to get into it because it's weird. But I definitely want to talk about it today. We have Jungkook's privates trended and talked about on the tweetster. We also have a wardrobe malfunction moment. And lastly, I want to get into Taeyong's response to being called a fraud on stage. His response to people saying he can't sing or whatever. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified and some new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. Now the first thing I want to talk about today is Jungkook's privates. And no, I am not joking. I mean like apparently. His privates are actually trending on the tweet star. And it is an actual topic of conversation. Recently, I've been seeing it online every time I look up Jungkook. And I didn't want to talk about it because, well, it's weird. But nothing much going on today, so I thought I'd talk about it. So what happened? I'm actually not sure. But if you go on the tweetster and type in Jungkook, which I do because I look up all the members to see what they're up to today and what the people on the interwebs be mad about today, the very top post of the tweetster, when you put in Jungkook's name, is Jungkook's bulge. And initially, I was like, okay, like stomach bulge? Are people saying he got fat? Like, like what is this and why is this top search? And then I clicked on it and oh my 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 mistake. My eyes are no longer innocent. It's pictures of Jungkook thrusting, grabbing his junk. This is too much for me. I didn't sign up for this. I mean we're married so I see it every day but it's still shocking. I didn't know this many people were into my man's junk. This has been on top search for literally the last year or so. Every time you search up Jungkook's name like right on the top and I think this is so funny not because it's a weird thing in general but because a lot of armies like to clear top searches. For example, if the top search is like something awful, armies will search for cute things like Jungkook's smile or Jungkook's cute nose and search that so many times that the top three searches are no longer that awful thing. However, Jungkook's bulge is always on the top three searches when you write his name in. Like, are y'all actively keeping it up there? Because like, I understand, like same. Jungkook is doing the most on stage. And even though they haven't had a live concert in a while, these old footage of Jungkook's junk is still resurfacing. We see older Jungkook being nasty on stage. And it's honestly a blessing. But like, if you have asthma, maybe don't look. Maybe look away. This isn't for you. BTS is not good for people with asthma. They need to put a warning, like you will die if you have a breathing condition. I wanted to see what some people on the tweets that were saying about this. One person wrote, Why is Jungkook's bulge always in his searches? Like y'all, most of Jungkook's performances, he ain't even showing off his bulge. He's just dancing and doing some normal dancing thing. So y'all are kind of looking up some older performances. This got pretty crazy a little while back when it literally ended up trending. I don't know how widely, but it was probably in the top trends. I don't know if it was taken down or not, because we know that Twitter goes through those trends and caption it. But what would they even write for something like that? BTS fans go crazy over Jungkook's private parts. Imagine if Jungkook saw that. You'd think he'd be flattered or just immediately delete the app. I wasn't able to capture the exact trend, but this did not happen too long ago. Maybe like four days ago, one person wrote, Jungkook's bulge is trending, skull face. This is hilarious. If I was Jungkook, I think I'd be flattered. I'd be like, oh, everyone thinks it's big. These I don't think ARMY needs to clear the searches for. I don't think these are anything bad. I think it's funny. He obviously can't get in trouble for this because he's not the one doing it. I think it's fine. I have been having a good laugh over this for a while. Jungkook has had a lot more provocative moments on stage, which I love. He's also had wardrobe malfunction moments that are hilarious. Well, a wardrobe malfunction moment, not moments. Basically, this happened back in the fake love era. This was during the SBS Inky Geo performance of fake love. And after ARM's little rap, he was supposed to touch Jungkook's chest and Jungkook was supposed to push it away. But ARM grabbed Jungkook's shirt and just ripped it open. ARM said, no more shirts for you. He's like, I'm gonna make ARMY's real Real happy. So the shirt ripped open and you could see Mr. Cookie's chesticle and it was all out and exposed. And apparently Jungkook did react to this exact performance and he said he was trying his hardest not to laugh. And honestly, if this was your first time watching Fake Love performance, you might not even know this was a mistake because Jungkook does lift his shirt in that performance. So it could be another fun thing that Jungkook does. Also, Jungkook hid him laughing so well, you could not tell at all. It was so professional. And honestly, Fake Love is a sad song and you can't laugh. But the cool thing about Jungkook is that he's hot. So even if his shirt gets ripped or any malfunction, he's only going to look hot. Whereas if it was us normies, I'd be pissed because y'all just saw something that didn't look good. Like if I must be naked, I should look really good. Like if I had an ex-wife or husband leak a nude pic, I wouldn't even be mad if I looked good in it. I'd be mad if I looked bad in it. Then I have to issue a public apology to anyone who saw it and who went blind from it. Either way, it seemed like Jungkook and BTS were happy and having fun. As always, they love performing because that's what they're good at. It's also very difficult to dance the way they do and sing live. You don't really hear the jutting, is it called, or how their body moves. For example, if I were to very 
quickly swing my arm. As I sang or as I was running, even if I was just talking, you'd hear my voice jump or even break. Like, uh, but you don't hear that at all with BTS. And their choreography is hard. It's not something that wouldn't make a normal person not do that. But since their performances are so perfect, a lot of people think that they're lip syncing or doing stuff like that. I will say, if a K-pop idol has a performance that they can't do, like let's say they do a backflip while singing a high note, then they just won't do it. The choreography is crafted in a way that works with the singing. And when the choreographer comes up with the dance moves, they're not like, oh, high note? This is when you have to plunge a 30 foot drop. So the vocals do end up being a lot more doable live. You know what I'm saying? Also a K-pop idol, and I want to make this clear, would not be allowed to debut like at all if they could only lip sync. They are tested vigorously before they debut. And if they can't sing or dance live, they don't get a debut. With that said, there are a lot of people who maybe didn't know this and doubted BTS's ability to sing live. Tang has done many things to actually prove that they do sing live since they literally sound like the CD. For instance, they change up their vocals for the live performances. Tang will switch up a note or go silent for a certain part. For the song Dynamite at the music festival, Tang did a little silent clap and that really showed he wasn't lip syncing because you can very obviously hear that they don't have a backing track over that. Which by the way, Jimin and Tang look so good. Oh my god, they're literally glowing. How? Anywho, there's also other times where BTS are out of breath and you can hear that. There were times where BTS sang with Charlie Puth and you can definitely hear small things that they sound slightly different from the CD. Not bad, just different and this is a tell that this is a live performance. Now as for the more recent performances, since there is no audience and they are pre-recorded and all that, do they tune the vocals? I don't know, I'm not a voice expert. But to me it sounds the same as their concert footage I've seen. They can obviously sing. The problem I have over people being mad at lip syncing, even if they were, who cares? Like let's say Beyonce lip syncs, okay? Like we know she can sing. I think it's the same. We know BTS can sing. They've proved that. There are times when they're sitting down and singing. You can just hear all of their beautiful voices and it sounds wonderful. Even if they decided today, I do not want to strain my voice and decide to lip sync. I don't really see a problem. They can do that if they want, but they clearly don't need to or ever have, I don't think. There's this huge controversy of lip syncing in Korea that it should be banned. But to be honest, I don't know any K-pop artists that do this. I think you get into a lot of trouble even if you don't lose your career. Like I think the backlash can get you banned in certain places. So I don't think artists do that. But one person had this to say on the tweets are about BTS and lip syncing in K-pop. They wrote, since we are talking about how lip syncing should be banned in K-pop, let's speak about how unbothered BTS are with this. I think BTS will be fine. They're great and they're great live performers. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or it getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Link is in the top of the description down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel. I have a video over there explaining that, which is free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye. <laughs>